While the Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum in the East China's Nanjing is a place of pilgrimage for Chinese, over the decades, many state leaders and political figures have visited the site. And Sun Yat-sen and his mausoleum have great significance for the development of cross-strait ties. And CCTV's Xing Zheming has more from Nanjing. If you have ever visited China, you probably found Zhongshan Park, Zhongshan Road, or Zhongshan Hospital in many cities across the country. They're all named after Sun Yat-sen, one of the most important political figures in the history of modern China. And here is the Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum, where the great frontrunner of Chinese democratic revolution rests. Sun led the revolution of 1911, which overthrew the Qing dynasty and put an end to over 2,000 years of feudal monarchy in China. He was appointed to serve as provisional president of the Republic of China when it was founded in 1912, but he quickly resigned due to pressure from warlords. He continued his fight with the warlords and co-founded the Kuomintang or the Chinese Nationalist Party, serving as his first leader. He brokered a fragile alliance between the Kuomintang and the Communist Party of China in the 1920s, and the two parties worked together in a northern expedition against the warlords in an effort to unify the country. Sun was a uniting figure in post-imperial China, and he remains unique among 20th century Chinese politicians for being widely revered amongst the people from both sides of the Taiwan Strait and overseas Chinese. Sun passed away at an early age. He was just 58 years old when he died of liver cancer on March 12, 1925. Both the Kuomintang and the Communist Party honor his memory. He was buried, according to his wishes, in a purple golden mountain of Nanjing, the city where the provincial government was founded after the 1911 revolution. The deep historical significance, magnificent architecture, and beautiful scenery make Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum a place of pilgrimage for Chinese people. One notable visit was in 2005, when Taiwan's Kuomintang chief Lin Chan paid a historic visit to the mainland. His first stop of a four-city tour was here in Nanjing, where he paid tribute to the first leader of his party. That visit was the first by incumbent Kuomintang chief in 56 years. Since then, more and more people from Taiwan, including political figures, business leaders and tourists, have paid visit to this very location to honor Sun Yat-sen, a sign of improved and warming cross-strait relations. Xin Zhe CCTV, Nanjing.